Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to look at an example of method of undetermined coefficient. And this is going to be a trigonometric example in which your particular solution is going to be in the form of a sine or a cosine. Um, so recap the steps again, find the homogeneous solution, make sure there's no repeats, and then propose a particular solution based on your f of t, then derive however many derivatives you have present in your equation, plug in, simplify, and go from there. Solve for your constant. You're going to plug in, simplify, and then solve for the constant, and then your particular solution consists of your homogeneous solution plus the actual particular thing you found. So let's look at this example here. Notice I've chosen the same differential equation because I don't want to focus on finding the homogeneous solution, so it's going to be this one here. given that we know that your particular solution because it's in the form of a sign it's not going to have a repeat which it shouldn't that's not what the concept of this video is it's to illustrate to you how your proposed particular solution would be a sine 2t but if you remember they come in pairs so you have to have b cosine 2t even though there is no cosine term up here. You have to account for both of them. All right. Um, had your homogeneous solution had a constant times a sine 2t or constant times a cosine 2t, then we would have had to put a t in front of here for our proposed particular solution. But again, we'll do that on a different video. So y prime is then going to be 2a cosine 2t plus, oops, sorry, that's going to be a minus sign because derivative of cosine is a minus sine. So minus 2b because of the trigonometric quotient rule. And then the second derivative is going to be negative 4a sine 2t and then negative 4b cosine 2t. Then we plug into our differential equation. If you remember the differential equation was y double prime minus 2y prime uh, minus 15y equals 0. So if I plug in into here I'm going to get a negative 4a sine 2t minus 4b cosine 2t, that was the second derivative, then we do minus 2 times y prime, which is 2a, this term right here, 2a cosine 2t, minus 2b, sine 2t. And then minus 15y, which is the original proposed particular solution. Ooh, running out of space. Can I squeeze it in? Just barely. All right. Uh, now you simplify. So that's simplified. I'm going to have to distribute. So it's going to be a negative 4a sine. You can see it can get tedious, even more tedious than this.
Now you combine your like terms. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole thing. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a 4a sine 2t uh, and 15a sine 2t, negative 15. So it's going to be a negative 19a sine 2t. So that takes care of that one and that one. And then we have a negative 19 B sine 2t takes care of that one and that one. And then we've got, I guess, just these two terms left. And, ooh, actually, that should have been a cosine. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Let's see what fatigue can do to you. Get a good night's rest before your quiz or test. So then here we're going to have just barely squeeze that in there. All right, so then we set that equal to our particular solution, which was just sine 2t. So we look for the sine 2t term, and it's right here. And there's one actually right here as well. So what we would do is we would factor out the sine 2t, and we would get... Um, one equals 4b minus 19. Add the 19 on both sides. b is equal to 5. So if you come back up here, b was the coefficient of cosine. Even though we started out with a sine term, looks like our particular solution has cosine. So what would you do for your particular solution? It would be the homogeneous, which again you could have solved for C1 and C2 given some initial conditions. That's not what this video is about. And then you would write plus 5 cosine 2t. And that would be your solution. Okay? Even though we start out with sine, we have a cosine. So you can see that they can get tedious, um, especially with a repeated root, or if you have a E alpha T and sine 2T here, that can be a lot more intense. So practice, practice, practice. Check out the other example videos. Thank you and have a nice day.